Hey, it's Diane Hockman out on the ocean. Well, I'm not on the ocean. I'm in a bay right now. <laughs> I'm on a cruise ship uh, making some videos and we are parked. So I thought I'd uh, chat with y'all for a bit and see. And I just keep looking out. Don't mind me if I'm looking away from you guys. It's just, it's just a sparkling, beautiful day. I was up on the deck for a while. Um, now just came down here to make these videos, but I think I'm going to go back up top. So maybe one or two more, but then I'm out of here going back to enjoy, um, the deck before the sun goes down. Um, I was just asked, I'm doing, um, custom videos today. I'm just asking people that throw out topics and I'm just riffing on them. Um, hopefully these hold great value for you. Um, a lot of times it's great to listen to somebody who's been doing something for a long time and just let them, just let them ramble. Um, I know that that's where I, I pick up a lot of gold nuggets from people. They're just rambling. Um, so I was asked about building community, building community. And it's an interesting topic because, um, one, I think a lot of people who work on the internet don't really understand building community. Um, so they struggle with that. That's, they, they, you know, they, they build something up and it collapses. They build something up and it collapses because they haven't built strong community. And then two, I think it's just misunderstood or manipulated. Um, you know, community comes from, you know, a real heart of, um, of caring, um, caring. And a lot of people want to build a community because it's going to make them money. Um, and, and communities do, can make you a lot of money, but you can't build the community. It's kind of like a mind twist, okay, mind twist, because you, you want to make money, so you want to build the community, but you can't build the community so it will make you money. Um, the, the idea is to find something you all agree upon that you're all excited about, whether it's, you know, your healthcare product or your skincare product or your training product or your, you know, whatever the case may be. And then the leadership of the community has to be present, okay? They have to be present. They have to be interacting. They have to be loving on the people. They have to be answering questions. They have to be cheering on people as they move up the pike. And what happens is that a, an attractive personality that goes ahead and finds a couple of other people with attractive personalities, it's pretty easy to form a community of people, you know, here it goes, of like-minded individuals. Um, it starts with one person deciding I'd like to create community and then it's getting a couple other people that are on board. They have to agree and then it's attracting more and more people. And when those people are on board, then they tend to talk about the community and what's going on in the community and what they're excited about. And when they do, it becomes more and more attractive and more and more and more people come around. Um, so, you know, I, when I think about it, because I sat and I thought about the question and I've been in so many communities and been leadership in so many communities. I've watched communities stand for a long time. I've watched communities start and crumble. And I really think in our profession, it has a lot to do with um, caring. You know, that, 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 there's a, that there's a cause in the community higher than just making money. It's not just look at how much we made, look at what we're gonna make. It's about changing lives, it's about um, success. You know, I was just in um, one of the communities that I'm involved in. Uh, you know, what? I'm not, I'll just say it, my lead system pro, um, which has always had strong community. And there's a young man um, who's been in some of my classes and he's about to make one of the highest leadership levels, the second highest leadership level in the company. He's very close. And that, like, everybody gathers around him and cheers for him and rallies with him. That's what community is about. It's about watching people come up it's about watching change. And yeah, you can share those stories, you can use those stories in marketing. But true community comes from caring. Um, you know, I'll give you another story. Uh, one of the gals that I work with um, achieved a leadership rank and unfortunately she couldn't make it to the event to pick up her award due to some reasons which, which are private. Um, but I knew what the reasons were and I really wanted to celebrate with her. So I went, uh, happened to be going by, so I went before the cruise to see her and bring her the award. And it was funny because I just, I just thought it was going to be me and Larry bringing her the award. And then people started popping up and saying they wanted to come. We ended up having a whole group because the community that she's fostered, the community that I fostered, wanted to celebrate with her. They just wanted to celebrate with her. That's what community is, guys. Um... It always starts with leadership and caring. So go out and lead and go out and care and find a couple other people that want to lead and want to care and watch how quickly that community can build. 
Guys, go to dianehockman.com, H-O-C-H-M-A-N, uh, put in your name and email. And then I do have several communities if you want to come hang out with us. Um, certainly, we'd love to have you. Some of them are you know, members of particular programs and stuff, and some of them are just free stuff. Come hang out, uh, and we'd love to see you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.